as a company really believes in the creative and people's ability to take tools and do things that haven't been done before. And there really isn't a better place to come in the animation space than Annecy. This is an incredibly important animation film festival and we're here to support and view the amazing work that's been done by our clients and also discover new talents and to have great conversations. So what we've done in our workflow specifically is really focus on the live action approach to animation. This is a perfect example of how the engine is a game changer. Now we have our cinematographers remoting in from uh, a small island in, in Hawaii uh, and collaborating with our teams in New Zealand and Vancouver and lighting scenes in real time. And that's where we really think as a whole studio that this industry is going is a live action approach to animation. People are realizing how it can really change their pipeline. There is no need now to have linear productions where you have to lose a lot of time with render and stuff. Plus, when you combine tools like Unreal Engine where you have many tools to work in distance and co in collaboration with different roles, like for example, the 3D animator, the 2D designers, or the, the film director, they can all work together within the same scene. And I think that's really the next step in the film production. Real-time technology has helped give immediacy, has helped give urgency to the storytelling process in the narrative by bringing in live action uh, workflows. That is why I love the partnership with Epic because uh, the game engine allows you to see it now. That's the magic of it. I'm not a, an animator myself, I'm more on the sort of production side and Unreal feels so much more understand, you can read it immediately. It's like being on a film set. We get asked all the time, does it make you quicker? Does it make it faster? Does it make it cheaper? And I guess, yes, it does. But what we found more so is that it makes you just way more creative. Using Unreal Engine has enabled us to bring the story process further along in animation than we were ever able to before. By being able to shoot camera coverage across the scene, we're able to creatively edit our show uh, in 3D as opposed to the traditional process, which is storyboards, trimming storyboards, and at that point, you're pretty much locked in your story. For us, we were able to iterate on that story in camera, and the only way to do that is in real time. And that's really what Unreal gave us in this process. We have very complex scenes, lots of layers, uh, very artist-driven. So we're really always trying to meet an artist's vision. We've used it for the entire production. We used it to build sets in several of our productions as well. And of course, we build tools that go from 2D directly to Unreal. Epic Games is really trying to support our clients First of all, by offering products that combine art and technology in a way to achieve the best result possible. We've implemented mega grant programs and short film programs that help these clients kind of take that first step into trying Unreal for a production. And what we're seeing is we're seeing these clients not just doing one project, but actually implementing the Unreal pipeline at the core of their ways to tell stories. I feel like there's a lot more, uh, there's a, a greater variety of experimental animation being done in Unreal in real time, and I, I think it's extremely exciting. So I think as all, a lot of these companies start playing with real time and Unreal with all their distinctive styles, I think we're just gonna see some incredible animation happening faster. It's fun, it's, it reminds me of the 90s for how old I am, which is, you know, so much happening and so much change and so much innovation. I would say in five years, if I, if I had my Magic 8 Ball, it'll all be real time, it'll all be in context. I mean, that's, that's the holy grail, is like you wanna animate your shot in the shot with the lighting and with the effect so you can be playing off all of that stuff. So traditional linear content will be dead. It'll be all done in real time. So what this allows me to do for the first time is work more like a live action filmmaker. It's a very flexible, robust system, right? To iterate as fast as I can think. It's collaborative. Like you're developing it with people that are giving you input on like, this would, this would make it better for me to use. And you listen to that and then you kind of adapt the engine, which I think is a huge thing. If you're working kind of together with the people that are creating it, then it's definitely gonna just become something that a lot of people use. I believe that the 
the really smart people, if you started a studio today, would be building it how we're building it, which is using tools of the future, not tools of the past. I mean, I realize it's not quite that simple, but I do believe that the real-time rendering workflow is a completely different experience. We really want to empower the creative. And us being here, hopefully we can spread that word and just show that it's not just us talking about it. There are actually people who are doing it. You know, we're really committed um, to be able to empower creatives to tell the stories that they want to tell.